Hi everybody, it's Starla from Starla's Creative Teaching Tips. You know what today we're going to do? We're going to do a cool pocket lesson on how, how you can beat a virus. So do you know, first of all, what a virus is? We're hearing a lot about it, that's for sure, right? Okay, well let's look at it. Yep, that's it. I'm using a, a can canister from my favorite company, Melaleuca. Awesome company. All natural, it's all great, okay? So here we go, see this? We're gonna make this our virus today. Nice smooth coat here. Now, let's look inside. What do we see? We see either a DNA strand or an RNA strand. That's right. A virus is a protein coat and a DNA or an RNA strand. Can't be both, just one or the other. Now, what is this? This is the blueprint on how to make more of these. So, the job of a virus, once again, protein coat, DNA or an RNA blueprint. The job of this guy is to get inside of you and to inject its DNA and RNA and then you, that's right, you make the virus that makes you sick. It is a clever little guy, I'm telling you. Okay, so, if this guy gets inside of you and uses your cells to reproduce and makes you sick, how can we get you well? Well, there isn't really truly any medicines that get you well. It can slow it down, it can stop it from reproducing, but the only way to get over a virus, whether it's a cold or a flu or COVID, is you got two major players, and that's you. You are the only one think you get over a virus. And here's your players. You ready? One is called a helper T cell. He's like the five star general of your army of white blood cells. Oh man, they are mean. I'm telling you right now, these white blood cells, they don't play. They do not play. Okay. And then your second one is your three star general, which is the B cell. Okay. Now white blood cells roam around in your body. B cells stay in place. They, you find them in little cleaning stations called lymph nodes. They're in your, down here in your neck and in your armpit and down here in your groin. And then they're found throughout the body. And B cells just sit and they wait. They wait for their turn to help get you well. All right, so remember, this is the third line of defense. It's the only way we can beat a virus. First, helper T cells, which roam all over. B cells stay put. Okay, are you ready? Let's show you how cool this guy is. So let's say, for example, you touched something and licked your fingers and you injected this inside of you. You ingested it. Or maybe you breathed it up your nose. And there he went, okay? So now he begins to reproduce in your body. Other white blood cells see it. Oh my goodness. And maybe they grab a hold of it and they tear a piece of it off or they grab the whole thing. Or the virus finds its way into the lymph node. There, a B cell. I'm going to show you how it looks. Ready? I drew this out for you. Okay, here he is. Okay, so this B cell, there he is. Now look at him. This is the cell. Now look how big the nucleus is. B cells and helper T cells have big nuclei. Why? Because they're smart. That's why. All right, here we go. So here's our helper. Oh, here's our B cell sitting in a lymph node. Here comes our little virus. And now, do you see that little receptor? That's right. And it grabs it. Or it grabs a piece of it. And now, what does the B cell do? It memorizes the outside of this virus. Now, anything that doesn't belong to you is called an antigen. So that's what this guy's called, okay? He's an invader. All right, so we're going to memorize him. All right, now, he's got him memorized. Now he waits. He waits until this guy right here comes in. You see him? Okay. Right here. Here he comes. And he is the helper T cell right there. Now, doesn't he look a lot like the B cell? Because they're cousins. Yeah. Okay. This is the helper T cell. Do you see? He's going to come over here and he's going to activate this B cell. So if the B cell's ready. It's just waiting for the helper T cell to come. Boom. Tell it what to do. All right. Here we go. The B cell is told go for it. All right, once he goes for it, he begins to divide. Now watch what he does. He divides into one, it looks like the same thing. This is a memory cell. 
And what's he got a memory of? He's got a memory of the outside of this virus. That's right. And he's going to live for years and years and years. He's got a memory. Now, the other cells, they look like eggs, don't they? Now, if you look close inside, you see there is a factory inside these little plasma cells. And that's what they're called. They're called plasma cells. They look like eggs. Are a, a, a little factory called rough ER, rough endoplasmic reticulum. You always remember rough because they have little ribosomes, and endoplasmic reticulum is like a little subway. And what do they do? They make proteins. And these proteins look like this. Look at them. They look like little cheerleaders. Look. Aren't they cool? Or little wise? Now look at the end of them. And the end is very specialized. So they're little Y's like this. And what do you think the ends fit? That's right. Each end of these antibodies, that's what these little proteins, these Y-shaped proteins are, they're antibodies. You've heard of them like antibiotics. <gasps> what are these? They are antibodies that are specially made to capture our virus. Yeah. Now, watch how impressive this is. These plasma cells will live only for about five to six days, okay? But they make 2,000, ready? 2,000 antibodies per second. How cool is that? And all these antibodies go into your lymph, which is this, this fluid, this extra fluid that your body makes and returns to your blood. And then it also dumps it into the bloodstream. So these antibodies, flow all through your body and wherever they come in contact with that virus they capture it antibodies don't kill they just capture see them captured it that's it that's it that's the end of this guy right here now then they stick together yeah so here we go we're gonna stick this guy together you see him it's all clumped up so this is called an antibody antigen complex so here's all those antigens that have been captured, the antibodies stick together. And you see this big old guy right here? He's your janitor. Mm -hmm. He's a white blood cell called a monocyte. And he is your janitor. He's huge. He's the largest of all your white blood cells. And he crawls around kind of like a big amoeba. And he eats that junk up. See, that's just junk to the body now. And as that white blood cell clears that out of there, gets rid of it, we call it clearing. Now, this whole process, you get well now. The virus is all gone. Your body has completely cleared it out. Problem. Only takes seven to ten days. I know, seven to ten days for all that to happen. So if you get a cold, and if you look on cold medicine, it's, what's going to say? If symptoms persist for seven to ten days, seek medical attention. Okay, which means this primary immune response is going to take seven to ten days, which means you're going to be sick for about a week until your immune system can get its muster up, get this whole process going, and clear you out. All right, now wait, 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 wait. What happens, let's say, if uh, I'm exposed to the same, the same one again, I'm exposed to it all over again. Maybe uh, through my toothbrush. Or maybe my friend now has the same cold and I go see him and pff, they sneeze on me. And I get the same key, same one. Don't you worry, watch what happens. Who's gonna remember that? That memory cell. That's right, that memory cell remembers that same antigen. Doesn't have to wait for helper T cell, watch this. Boom, divides, makes another memory cell, makes plasma cells, which make antibodies, which go into your system and boom, make an antibody antigen complex. And what do we do? We clear it. Just like that. Now, here's what's impressive. You don't even know you got sick. Your body did this and cleared it out. You might have a little sniffle, maybe not feel very well, but you're not sick and you get well in 24 to 48 hours. I know. So the second time your immune system sees that same antigen, boom, it jumps all over. It's so quick. Now, here's what's neat. You remember those plasma cells? They get irritated. See, this time they saw it the second time. They live longer, like five to seven days. 
and they're going to make 4,000 to 6,000 antibodies per second. I know it. It's amazing. Wait, wait, wait. What happens if it sees it a third time? The same antigen a third time, and this memory cell goes through the same thing again. This one catches it. Boom. These plasma cells will now live 7 to 10 days. They'll make 10 to 12,000 antibodies per second. So every time your immune system sees that same antigen, its response is so quick, you don't even get sick. Isn't that great? Okay. Now, sometimes, though, viruses can make us so sick. It's terrible, like the flu. So sick, we can't even function. Some viruses can hurt us really bad, like polio, measles. So, and we know about COVID, depending on your immune system and your age and everything else, in some cases, some viruses can cause death. So, what happens if I find some way to take the DNA and RNA out of this virus. Maybe I radiate it, zap it out of there. Now look, this is an empty protein case of this, that virus, okay? So let's say this is last year's flu virus and we radiate it and it's just empty. Okay, now you go to the store and you get a flu shot. What are we giving you? Empty, see, can't infect you. That's right. Now, your immune system does what? It sees it, the B cell memorizes it, helper T cell causes it to divide, and it makes antibodies against something that's not even infecting it, but it doesn't know that. Remember, the B cell only cares about the shape of it. Isn't that neat? But most importantly, what does it make? It makes a memory cell. That's right. And once the memory cell is made, now let's say three weeks later, you get the real virus. You're exposed to the real virus. Boom! Secondary immune response. You're never sick. Do you know what I gave you? I gave you a vaccination. A vaccination is when we give you a virus that can't infect you. That's right. And I know some people are like, oh, if I get the flu virus, the flu shot, I always get sick. No, 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 no. You can't get sick. Unless maybe you already have a cold virus or already have another, another health issue going on. And then your immune response goes totally focused on the flu virus and you get sick from something else. So always make sure you're 100% healthy before you get any vaccination. So what happens... If, say, I got a cold virus number 73, I will always be immune to cold virus number 73 for the rest of my life. But what happens? Wait a minute. What do you notice about this guy? He's another cold virus. See him? He looks just exactly the same, but just slightly different. His protein coat is just slightly different. Well, this is cold virus number 87, and I have to go through the immune response to make a memory cell so that I never have to have cold virus number 87. So what are they working on right now? They're working on a vaccination so that we can get a vaccination, much like a flu shot for COVID-19, so that if you are exposed to it, you won't get sick because you're gonna have memory cells. That's right. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so this is just a simple, let's go back through it. Virus, just a protein coat, and genetic information. That's it. That's all a virus is. How do you get well? B cells and helper T cells. What do B cells make to keep you healthy for the rest of your life from this particular virus? Memory cells. And what happens every time a memory cell see this guy? He makes plasma cells that make antibodies that clear your body. That's right. Okay? And that's how we get well. And that's why vaccinations are important and they help us stay healthy to build memory cells without getting sick. So I hope you enjoyed this awesome little pocket lesson. I had a great time seeing you guys. Sorry, it's been a couple weeks. I've had some other projects I've had to work on, but you know what? You're going to see a bunch more. All right. Love you guys. Be kind. Make a positive difference in the world. See you next time. Bye-bye.